So it's, I think it's probably two years ago I created this list view extension for converting documents or supported file formats into um, into PDFs uh, in in line from uh, from the library, but. But it was sitting in the repo of my old employer, so we decided, well, let's just move it over to PMP and maybe we get more traction to it. So the idea is that, I mean, often you might be sitting in a library, you have one or multiple files, and you want might want to either download these as PDF or convert them to PDF. Um, the good thing about this solution is that it's using out-of-the-box API, so there's no external calls to Flow or Azure Functions, Service, whatever. It's all, all just using the internal API, so I'll cover that later as well. So let's just start with one, if I do one document first. Um, so I have download as PDF and convert to PDF. So now if I do convert to PDF, processing, and then it's generating, and uh, we should see an update here. And here's my file. So I guess I can I can open this as well. You see, well, it just had, had some text in it. Uh, I can also do, so let me just remove this. And I can do two files, and then we can go back. Oh, sorry, it was already there. And then convert to PDF, processing the first one, processing the second one, and we should probably get a couple of PDFs updated here. Yep. Then. So this one also had an image in it. And let's just delete them again, and then let's do the download demo. So if I do download, it will convert them and then it will use JS zip on the page to zip them up and give you a zip file and, uh, with the same files, with a small powered by PMP text file in there. And if I open this file, you see it's the same PDF. So all, all quite simple. So how is this actually working behind the scenes? That's sort of, uh, that might be what you're wondering. I can cover a couple of things first. Uh, so first up, the uh, the icons here, which are also themed, and um, they're SVG icons. So I, I covered this in my last demo as well. So I'm using the same trick. That means I'm using SVG XML, and then I'm getting the theme color, and then just putting that in as a fill color of this SVG. So that's sort of a good pattern if you want icons, which looks and scales good, and then picks up the, the current theme. Uh, at the beginning of my list view command set, so this is on list view uh, updated, I am checking, well, do you have permissions to add uh, items to the library? Because if you don't have write access to the library, well, you can't really do any conversion. And then there are two different uh, methods. We have export, and then we have save as, which, which generates to SharePoint. So if you look at the save as the one doing the conversion, we have first generate PDF URLs. And if I go to this helper function, um, so you see it's using a render list data as stream, uh, where the important part is the different options I pass in, which it like enable media TA URLs. So if I go back to the documentation, uh, I think I worked. Here, so here's the uh, options for render list data, and then you see enable media TA URLs, enables URLs pointing to the media TA service or a meta service, which gives you a thumbnail URL, video manifest, and PDF conversion URLs. So this is on the so so if you if you search for render list data as stream you get the official documentation and that's what's being uh, being listed here. right so so why uh, so what i do then is i pull out all the files and then so we need the pdf conversion url and uh, we have the media base url because these are being picked off by the cdn um, so then uh, i'm i'm loading these uh, fields for for the items putting them into the payload and then we're creating uh, the payload to get these files. Um, so that's just generating the URLs. If we go back, right, and then if we do save, so the save method. So, so what uh, so what happens is we take the the document URL and then the full URL and then I replace the extension, which in this case is docx and then PDF, 
and then we do a uh, uh, do a copy. So here's a copy down here. So basically, basically what happens is I copy the entire um, the entire uh, Word document because then you get all the metadata as well. But I rename it in the, at the same time to PDF. And then we read the um, then we, then we read the uh, so so here's the PDF URL, which which uh, reads uh, the, the converted files, and then get the blob data and then write that back to the file. So that's sort of an easy way to to maintain all the metadata but replace the actual contents with um, with the PDF contents. So so the binary stuff uh, works. Um, and here's a small fix. So there was uh, some race conditions where the internal file type wasn't set to PDF. So that means even though the file here said .pdf uh, in the extension, it still had a word icon because uh, SharePoint hadn't caught up with internal fields. So it's just running an extra update to ensure that the, this, uh, this, this works correctly and as expected. And I haven't had any reports of issues, uh, issues afterwards. So that's basically the, the, uh, the conversion. Um, and then the same, same is for download, but instead of uh, copying it to the PDF file, we let's if we look at the zip code. So it just takes takes the blobs, adds it to a zip file, and then saves it out to the client. Right. So it's um, yeah, not a big deal. Do you have any, any are there any questions? Do you have any comments? Let's say you typically are good to sort of clue me back into stuff I forget um, details. <laughs> <laughs> I think uh, did we go through the deployment thing uh, related on getting the extension across the tenants um, just from this side just to pinpoint. No, I mean it's it's just... it's an app package which is deployed to the tent app catalog, so like same sure. as as all SharePoint framework stuff. Yep. Uh, but can you open up the tenant wide deployment configuration in this? Let's one? see if uh, just a reminder on that one for yep. for most. And some people, it might be super clear, but again, this is such a powerful feature, and we yep. have a few minutes of time to spend here. So, right. so I probably yeah. haven't built it. So that means uh, you do upload, and then it um, it's a tenant-wide extension. I don't think I have the uh, package yeah, built. Let's right. go to the site. It should be there by default. That's the, that's the beauty. So yes, if so you go to the site all contents, sites, yeah, yeah. If you so go I mean, to the site contents. Uh, in the no, not in here. In the app catalog. In the app catalog. Yep. Uh, all right. I'm I'm completely messing up your demo, so it's all good. Tenant wide okay. extensions. Let's still over there. Uh, we're potentially looking into putting this, by the way, in the app catalog left menu uh, pretty yep. soon. Um, and this basically means in here since. When, when Mikael created the solution, we do create the default XML and uh, files as part of the solution structure. We'll, we'll have a look on those as well. But the beauty of doing this is that now by default, every single document library will have this extension in them. It doesn't matter where you create the document library, this extension yeah. will be lighting up across yeah. the tenant, and that's and, beautiful. And you see I have two of these, which is probably why I am getting a nice uh, error. So. If I go here and open this, you see I have oh, you multiple, have multiple ones. There we go. One, two, three. Yeah. yeah. Three but we could yeah. easily control because we control yeah. all of this from a one centralized location, yeah. which is that list, uh, which yeah. is in app catalog. And that's the beauty of this model. So you don't have to go to the site level to change things. You come here, delete one file and row yeah. uh, from here, and that changes. Or you can disable one of them, and that impacts immediately runtime the experience has crossed the tenants. No delays, yeah. no nothing. It's a yeah. runtime uh, yeah. resolution. And, well, of, and of course, if you, if you don't want delay, if we are being super, super practical yeah. from a technical perspective, but still, yeah. anyway. Yeah. And, and if you don't want PDF conversion in all your sites, uh, I don't know why, but then you can deploy to a site app catalog as well. So you only get it yes. for, for that yes. one site. Yeah. Or you can filter that only to a specific web template. Now, can we go to the solution? Let's just pinpoint where this is happening. So if we go to the solution, a SharePoint folder, yeah. Um, extend the SharePoint folder. SharePoint yeah, folder. the SharePoint folder. And we and have. These, uh, that's basically what is causing the, uh, oh, that's yep. the custom action. And this yep. one is the client side component instance. This is the one which is adding the instance to the tenant wide deployment list. And then that basically, this is information which is being visible on that list. And then that enables the runtime resolution of the extension across the tenant automatically, yep. which is yep. beautiful. 
Yeah, and 101 means it's available in document libraries. Yeah. yeah. So I just a funny side note on that one. Just had a meeting earlier today with our China team who's looking into modernizing the whole app catalog end to end and all of that stuff and store. There's a lot of announcements coming on there. And, and they were wondering, uh, or the PM who doesn't have years and years of expertise related on SharePoint, how would you know that 101 is a document library? How would you know that SDS hash tree is a modern subsite? Well, of course you know if you're in SharePoint for a while, but you wouldn't know otherwise. So potentially at some point we'll have a nice administrative UX to manage all of the settings. For now, it's yeah. this <laughs> code, which aren't documented though. So I mean, if, but if you Google for it, you will find it, right? It's all on the that, web. That's true. Yeah, that's well a 20 years yeah. long yeah. of the document library has been 101 for 20 years. So that's the thing, so, yeah. which is yeah, mind-blowing. Cool. Thank you.